Okay, so welcome back to the sessions. Now here is a question twenty two. Okay, so moving on to the question, which one of the following statement is false? Yes. So here we have four options given. So what we need to find is we need to find which of the statement is false. That means we need to find the false statement. Okay, and this question is from paleontology. So this question is from paleontology. Okay. Yes, that is ammonites have fluted septa, brachiopods have a pedicle. Echinoids have genal spines. Trilobites have a fugitive. So these all are the options given. So what we need to find is we need to identify which statement is wrong. Okay. So let's see the first option. Ammonites have fluted septa. So here you can see I have given you all the imageries that here you can see the trilobite anatomy. Here you can say what is a brachiopod morphology and here is. Ammonite, ammonite shell and various parts of ammonite shell. Okay, so by this you can identify all the parts of this three fossil shells. Okay, and the first is ammonites. Ammonites have fluted septa. Here you can see in the image ammonites. Here you can see the septal wall. Here you can see the septal wall. So. Here you can see the septal wall. So ammonites have fluted septa is the correct answer. Why? Because here you can see the septal wall and also septal sutures is present. Here you can see the septal chamber. Okay, so ammonites is having the fluted septa. So this is the true statement. Next is brachiopods have a pedicle. Now we need to know about the pedicle of brachiopods. Here you can see the pedicle valve of brachiopod. Here you can see the pedicle valve. Okay, then pedicle valve. Here you can see the pedicle valve, brachial valve, and pedicle. This is the pedicle of brachiopods. So brachiopods have a pedicle. This is also the right thing about brachiopods. Now option C. Echinoids have genal spines. Echinoids have genal spines. Here you see. What is a genal spine and who is having a genal spine? So before moving with this, let's see this trilobites. Option D. Trilobites have a pygidium. Trilobites have a pygidium. So this is trilobite. Here, as we know, trilobite the entire body is divided into three. This is one. This is two, and this is three. Three parts. First is cephalon. Second is thorax, and third is pygidium. So tri trilobites have a pygidium. Is a True statement, true statement about trilobites. Then echinoids. Here you can see compound eye, glabella, facial suture. Here you can see the segments. Then here you can see this is a genal spine. So genal spine is present in trilobites. So this statement is wrong because echinoids they are having genal plates. Echinoids are having not genal spines. Echinoids are having genal plates. Echinoids are having genal plates. Echinoids are having genal plates, not genal spines. Genal spines is present in trilobate anatomy, whereas echinoids are having genal plates. So this option C is the false statement among this. So the answer for the question is option C. Echinoids have genal spines. Echinoids is not having genal spines. They are having genal plates. Okay. Yes. So to the next question. Yes. Question number twenty-three. In the context of phylogeny of horses, the correct chronological order from old to young. Yes. We need to find the chronological order that is from old to young. Which is which one is the old and which one is the young that we need to find. So in order to know this, we need to look at this image that is the evolutionary, or that is the evolution of horses that is from millions of years ago. Here you can see the primitive ones, the next ones, next, next, and the very present. You can see. So what we need to do is that to find the chronological order that is. Old to young. So simply, you can answer from 
this you need to study this thing then you can easily answer this thing okay so this is an important question why because such evolutionary question is usually asked maybe it is of dinosaurs it is dinosaurs is one option next is horses okay so such questions is usually asked in this exam so keep in mind sometimes it may be of dinosaurs sometimes it may be of horses so taxonomy questions is always asking so there will be a question from taxonomy okay here now we need to find which is old which is young so here you can see hyracotherium mesohippus merihippus pileohippus equus this will be the order so among things for option you can see hyracotherium yes it's there mesohippus yes it's there merihippus equus so option a is the answer this is the correct chronological order this is hippo hyracotherium mesohippus merihippus equus here you can see these both are interchanged option second is interchanged so option a is the correct chronological order of phylogeny okay yes it's a very direct question yes moving on to the next question yes choose the correct match between the items in group 1 and group 2 we need to match the correct answer match the following and this is from stratigraphy this is from stratigraphy okay this is from stratigraphy yes and this is very direct question okay this is very direct question okay so without any doubt we can answer that is polarity zone polarity zone as we know it is a part or it is the main character of magneto stratigraphy polarity zone is mainly magneto stratigraphy as we know polarity zone there are two types of polarity zones okay that is reverse one is reverse reverse and other is normal one is reverse and the other is normal as we know in every 1 million years every 1 million years what will happen the earth it will move from reverse to normal the normal to reverse the polarity of the earth will be changing in every 1 million years it will change from reverse to normal the normal to reverse so that is polarity okay so that is completely related to magneto stratigraphy then formation as we know formation it is litho stratigraphy it is the basic unit of litho stratigraphy then biozone biozone as we know it is the basic unit of bio stratigraphy then finally epoch epoch is the chrono stratigraphy it relating to the age chrono so this will be the correct option and this is very direct question from stratigraphy it is the basic things that we are learning in stratigraphy okay that is various zones and various stratigraphical units so the correct option is 3 4 1 2 here you can see 3 4 4 3 4 1 2 so option c is the correct answer polarity zone magneto stratigraphy formation litho stratigraphy biozone bio stratigraphy and epoch chrono stratigraphy so this is the correct order of this formations and stratigraphic units okay 